So today we're talking about brain a language you've never heard of. Hey there, do you like the complexity of coding with the pain of dying of an aneurysm? Then I'm sorry, you're too weak for brain Brain oh! <laughs> is a programming language with only eight commands. Brain operates on an array. Each cell in the array is generally a value from 0 to 255. However, it can be whatever the creator of the interpreter wants. You can have the cells be numbers, hexadecimal digits, doge memes, and you can output the cells whatever you want, whether that be ASCII, numbers, hex, doge memes. For right now, we're just going to save as ASCII numbers and output as ASCII characters. As I said before, in Brain there's only 8 commands. Let's just focus on these ones. We'll get to those later. You always start in that first cell in an array. This moves the pointer one to the right, and this moves it one to the left. Sound easy? Just wait. This thing adds one to the current cell, this thing subtracts one. Easy. Period outputs whatever the cell you have as an ASCII character. And because of that, you might think outputting a one should be as simple as this. However, as I said before, it outputs an ASCII character. But what is an ASCII character? This is an ASCII table. You can see number one is actually 49 in ASCII, which means to write one, you would need to write this. Don't worry, it gets worse. A comma takes a single character of input and stores it as an integer in the selected cell. So if the code had a comma, it would wait for you to type a 1 or whatever other character you wanted, and then it would consult the ASCII table, determine what to put in that cell, and then put it in that cell. Now you're probably thinking, oh this is really easy, it's just going to take a very long time to write. Well, instead of typing 50 billion pluses, you can just use these things. These are the real logic of the program. The opening bracket first checks to see if the current value of the cell is equal to zero. If it is, the code resumed at the end of the brace. However, if the code is not equal to zero, it does whatever is in between the cell until it does. Which can lead to infinite loops. Now that we understand the basic commands of brain we'll take a short break for a brain history lesson. No, 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 don't leave, don't leave. It's very quick, I swear. Brain is based on a language called P double prime, made by this guy, his name, Cardo Bomb. P double prime is like brain only it doesn't have periods or commas, which means it couldn't really do anything except math, but apparently it could actually do math pretty well. P double prime is what we call turn compatible. For our purposes, that just means it can calculate anything. In 1992, a Swiss physics student named Urban Muller wanted to create the smallest possible compiler for an operating system. He finished his program and in 1993 made it public. He included a readme that said, and I quote, who can program anything useful with it? Smiley face. Okay, that's enough history for today. I told you to be quick. Now let's see how hard it actually is to use brain and from now on we'll be inputting inputs and outputting outputs as base 10 numbers. As you may have noticed, there isn't exactly a copy command in brain so in order to copy a value from one cell to another, you actually need a code that looks like this. This says that as long as the current cell isn't equal to zero, it will decrease it. And for each one it decreases here, it will add one to the cell directly to the right of it and the one directly to the right of that. And then I'll go back so we're not decrementing the wrong thing. But now we've destroyed the original cell, so we need to go two over to the right to the last cell, decrement that as we increase the original cell by one. Now addition is going to look very similar to this, because think about what addition actually is. You're just decreasing this cell while adding one to this cell, so you're going to need to first take an input, move to the right, take another input, and then for each number in that cell, add one to the cell to the left of it. Now subtraction is essentially the same thing, only you're subtracting from the first cell as opposed to adding to it. Got that? You didn't? Great, you're already ahead. And now it's time for multiplication. Multiplication is not fun because you got two levels of multiplication. There's multiplication where you already know at least one of the inputs, and there's multiplication where you actually don't know any of them. Multiplication where you already know one of the inputs is pretty easy because you just need to take that input, put it there, and then you need to decrease that by one as you add the multiplier to the cell to the left of it. Now, if you don't know what it's gonna do, you need to first take your two inputs, put them in cells 1 and 5. Then you need to move cell 1 to 2, 3, and 4. Then while cell 2 is larger than 0, decrease cell 2 by 1. And for every time you do that, you <gasps> move cells 5 to 6 and 7, move cell 7 back to cell 5. Remember, you can't actually copy, so you need to do it like that. Set the pointer over to cell 6, move cell 6 to cell 1. And remember, you're doing this again and again for as long as cell 2 is larger than 0, which can be a lot of times. Congratulations! <laughs> Right now 
that's the part of the video where I have a bad segue to the cool things other people have done. So let's do that. There's a YouTuber named Mitsella who created a tic-tac-toe AI in Brain <laughs> And Urban Mueller, who if you remember is the guy who invented Brain <laughs> wrote a Brain <laughs> program that outputs a PowerPoint file that he presented as he gave a speech about Brain <laughs> But my absolute favorite, a GitHub user by the name of Kanoon built a Brain <laughs> compiler in Brain <laughs> and that's amazing.